All right. Dilution uh, hopefully is pretty straightforward once you get the concept. In my class, you'll need to know this formula. I don't usually give it to you. Basically, it's saying the initial moles equal the final moles. So moles in a dilution don't change. The only things that change are molarity and volume. What you're going to see to know it's a dilution problem, you have one compound, okay, one compound, and both of the following change, molarity and volume, must change for it to be a dilution problem. Do not use this anywhere else. If there's a reaction, don't use this. Okay? This is only if you're diluting one component or one compound from a higher to a lower, or you can go lower to higher molarity. All right, so the setup uh, basically goes as follows. Usually this is done with acids, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, let's pick an example where it's not an acid. Sodium chloride, aqueous, means it's in water, and let's say it's 2.2 molar. I want to dilute this down to uh, 1.0 molar. The initial volume is, let's say, 200 milliliters. So all you do is set it up. It doesn't matter which one's 1 and which one's 2 as long as you're consistent. So initial molarity is 2.2. The initial volume is 200. You do not have to put this in liters. You can leave it in milliliters as long as you know that your answer will be in milliliters. 1.0 times the unknown second volume. Anybody want to run this through in your calculator? 4,400. 440. No, this is, this is a helpful comment there. How do I know it couldn't be 4,000 milliliters? How did I know that? Because similarity is only um, two yeah. times the size. Yeah, look, you have almost half the volume. So I'm expecting the volume, I have the molarity, I expect the volume to more than double. Does that make sense? So if you have that in your mind, you'll know if you mess up and you get a billion. Yeah, you know, I can't be right. It has to be more double in this case. All right. So in this case, you tell me how much did I add? 240. The difference between these two is how much I added. So you need to read the question carefully to see if it's how much you add or what's the final volume. Two totally different questions. And that's where usually people get tripped up. Otherwise, it's just as straightforward as that.